Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hotline Classic Remastered. This time we'll take a look at the 1997 Nissan R390 GT1 LM Edition. My favourite of the R390s, the 97. Yes, I know the long tail was probably better, but this livery, the black and the red, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Cal Sonics and Avi, iconic sponsors, the 23, the iconic Mazda number. And despite being as iconic as it is, uh, this wasn't a very good car when it went to uh, to Le Mans. It, 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 I don't think it's even finished. Uh, anyways, it does have a bit of a point to prove on our leaderboard because we've had the Toyota GT1 race car go around. So is this going to be quicker than that? That's the question. Mid-engine rear-wheel drive, 642 horsepower, 1,000 kilos exactly. Not sure if I believe that, but uh, there you go. There's also the 97 and 98 road cars in this game. Uh, the 97 road car, I think, looks very, very pretty, but we'll get onto that uh, later. Anyways, this car's going to have six laps to set, well, six laps on the motorsports land track. Our current leader is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo RS, a 27.806, Lancer Evo 5, uh, 27.806. This car is... I would say unlikely to be that, but we've seen these LM editions do quite well, and this is already very, very quick, so... Hmm. I don't think it's going to beat it, but I think it's going to challenge it quite nicely. Judging by that first lap, anyway, this is... Wow! This is so nice to drive! Why is this so nice to drive? I remember the GT1 was all over the place, jumpy and horrible was this. You just put the power down and it just goes. It's incredible. 28.168. It's uh, definitely eaten the GT1 for breakfast. The question is, is this going to eat the Evo for breakfast? Surely not. I thought that Evo would be like the quickest thing for a while, but uh, this is definitely making its presence known, ain't it? 27.839, it is easing the heels of the Evo. It's so close. Uh, failed Le Mans car, but fantastic hot lap classic car this, evidently. The first, the second car, sorry, to ever get into the under 28 barrier. Uh, which has been a hard barrier for a, a lot of cars. But this is just... You know... I truly do believe the uh, the 28... Cars that get under 28 are like the absolute top, like... One percentile of cars in this game. You will not see a lot of cars get under that barrier. And this one just has. It's phenomenal to drive. It is so nice. It's just planted. It's brilliant. It's properly, properly brilliant to drive this. It is also making me question how good is the 98? If this is the 97, which I think actually has less power than the 98, how good is the 98 going to be around here? Ah, uh, just a little slide out of that final corner. The Evo's safe for now, but the Evo ain't happy. <laughs> that Evo ain't sleeping pretty at the moment. My god, that was close. This is really good to drive. <laughs> I am the biggest Toyota GT1 fanboy alive. But even I can admit that is better. That's fantastic. It's over a second quicker than that car. It's just so... It's beautiful. It's absolutely... The Evo 5 RS was beautiful to drive. This is very, very good. Obviously, on a proper track, this would decimate that. But no, this is phenomenal to drive. Absolutely sublime. I'm not a Nissan person, but Mike... Yeah, it really could have potentially taken that Evo out. It really could have. I gave it everything. But... The Evo stands strong, but the Evo, you know, is feeling a little bit hot under the collar now. Incredible. 
27.839 places this into second place. As I mentioned, just misses out on the top spot to the Evo 5. But um, it is the only the second car to go to under 28 seconds. Beats Ford RS200, Ford GT90, Mines Lancer Evo, Roof CTR2. It's, yeah, th this is a proper car, you know. The, the Serpret LM Edition, CRX Del Sol, GT1 race car, all excellent cars. But this is like the Shepherd. <laughs> you know, th this is when the LM Editions cross the line from really good to really very, very good. Um, yeah, I can't say enough nice things about that. I'm, I'm happy because it's my favourite R390. I do think the long tail is going to be one to really watch, though. So, um, yeah. But we won't do that for a while. Anyways, <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time when I'll be driving something that's definitely going to end up being slower than this. And, uh, yeah, until then, farewell. <laughs>